What is going on? My name is Mike and this is all about pressure washing. And today we're going to be doing some last minute emergency, if you will, graffiti removal. Now, obviously this isn't really an emergency, but it is on the top of the priority list for the property management company that handles the shopping center that I'm at right now. Now you've got some pretty nice stores here. Uh, I'm in front of Dick's Sporting Goods. There's an Ulta Beauty Supply that's right down the way. And that's where I get all of my products. And obviously they don't want graffiti on the side of their buildings for obvious reasons. Now, this is something that you typically don't see in this area. And I'm not going to make any assumptions based on what the graffiti is, but there was absolutely zero artistic integrity, zero effort put in one color and just a sloppy name. Right. And so Zachary, you can do better than this man. Seriously. Regardless, the property manager gave us a call and he asked how quickly that we could be out there to take care of it for him. I told him that we could be out there the next day. That was yesterday. We're here this morning to take care of it. He was thrilled that we could be out there so quickly and he asked for a price. Now I told him without seeing it in person, which is what I'm doing for the first time right now, it would be a really tough one to give a price for. But at bare minimum from the two pictures that he sent, we'd be giving him $750 to remove these two tags. Now, uh, if there was anything else that we would be charging a Accordingly, and he was cool with that, absolutely understanding that you know they were in a time crunch and that we were rearranging our schedule to accommodate him and his customers. Now, of course, I asked him how he found us, and he said he just Googled pressure washing in Pooler, Georgia. We popped up, and he gave us a call. So he got the answering service. They relayed the information to me, and I texted him back. Now, also keep in mind that I have not spoken to this gentleman on the phone or in person. Everything was done through text message. Fast, efficient, to the point, and people are busy. And this is the most effective way to communicate in my opinion uh, in a lot of these situations. Now, if it was a more in-depth quote, like a larger commercial job or something like that, that required my feet on the ground to see it in person in order to give a very accurate quote, then I will be there to do that. But in a scenario like this, all I needed to see was a couple pictures and uh, know what we can do. Jobs like this are coming from the marketing effort that we put in every single day. And if you want to learn how I create massive lead flow all year long that keeps our schedule full, our techs busy, and our bank account healthy, check out the first link in the description below for my six figure marketing framework. I cover every aspect of marketing that I've implemented over the past 20 years. There's no fluff. There's no BS, just the stuff that has proven effective for my business. I'm also going to give you Aaron Parker from the lean and mean Academies, how to rank my GMB in 30 days course, absolutely free. And I'm also giving you my personal guarantee. If you don't recoup your investment in this course, after implementing the strategies we talk about, I will give you a hundred percent refund, no questions asked. So there is absolutely zero risk to you. Not only that, the course, is cheap. It's the price of a house wash. And we're also doing a $50 off special right now. So check it out below. So back to the task at hand, which is the removal of the spray paint from the walls on this building. One of the things that I did mention to the property manager before even talking about price was that when we come out there, uh, we're going to do our best to remove the paint. But I also wanted to make clear that on any surface, especially something like this, it's pretty porous, that stains, especially spray paint that are pushed in there with aerosol are going to be much more difficult to get removed completely. Now, now we're going to do our best to make it look ridiculously better, but you have to set customer expectations beforehand. And I let them know in this scenario, you would still see some ghosting. You'd still see some of the remnants of the paint and quite possibly they're going to have to paint over the area once we're done. He was good with it. No questions understood and told me to move forward. And again, this was without a firm price. One of the important things when you're selling is the ability to communicate, the ability to verbalize the value that you're offering and you're building trust, right? You're building the confidence. So they're going to go ahead and just say, Hey, get started with the job. Now this can be done done both verbally and through text or email. My son, Mike, is in college. He's a marketing major right now, and he was just finishing up a paper on personal selling. He, he sent me over a copy to proofread, and it really does apply to what I'm talking about here today. The premise of his paper was this. Personal selling is typically reserved for higher-end products, cars, houses, you know, bigger purchases, not necessarily a house wash or a driveway cleaning. Um, it's typically like for a more complex sales process where there are more objections, there are concerns, there are things that need to be addressed with the customer. And many times it's easier to do that in person. Uh, and if you're just starting out and you have extra time to go out to meet with potential customers, it is a great experience because it allows you to learn the right things to say, how to say them, when to say them, as well as giving you an idea of the common objections, the common questions, so you can address them prior to them being asked. And this is all part of uh, being a good salesperson. Conversely, we're so busy and I've got so many leads coming in that we don't have the time to go out and do in-person quotes for every residential property. In fact, we hardly do any, but I've got years of 
experience, and I'm able to close a very large percentage of these jobs through text. And again, it all comes back to the lead flow. The more leads you have coming in, the more prospects that are looking for you, the better it is for you. And it's really just simple supply and demand. The more leads, the more customers, the more jobs that are coming your way, the pickier that you can become. Higher lead flow allows you to pick and choose who you're going to work for. If you have more work than you can handle in a given time frame, you would much rather do a $500 job than a $200 job. And when you have a full schedule, you can raise your prices. This is just basic business 101. And hopefully it's a little nugget that you can take with you from this video. But ultimately, it all goes back to lead flow. Lead flow equals cash flow. And that's where we need to focus a lot of our attention on. All right. So Julian is here. He's getting set up and we're going to tackle the graffiti. Here he already talked to the manager, and uh, the manager said that this guy's been all around Pooler uh, doing this. Where all has he been? He's kind of IHOP. He's writing his name on IHOPs and all different kinds of store. <laughs> he wants to know people to know who he is. Well, I, we know who he is. His name's Zach, and uh, and he's got poor penmanship. But um, so we're here. This is. Uh, it looks like an actual stucco, like a concrete, which is nice but we're still not gonna apply too much pressure simply because it's a painted surface. Now, um, I'm gonna spray this. This is a, uh, a graffiti remover. It's a prototype from Southeast Softwash, but it's something that they're working on. Cody sent me a couple jugs of it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray it. Let it sit for a little bit. So you can actually already see this is working really good. It's not, I don't know if it'll show up on f camera and I really shouldn't be using my finger on this, but looks really good so we're gonna let this sit we're gonna go apply uh, in a couple other spots and then we're gonna come back and rinse all this off and as you can see Julian is not oversaturating the surface but he's getting it on just enough we really don't want a ton of runoff obviously it's a liquid you're on a vertical surface so you are gonna have some uh, dripping but for the most part you just want to get a good even application Get, get it on the wall, allow the chemical to do its job. So we're gonna allow this to sit for a little bit and uh, come on back with the pressure washer and gently rinse everything off. And again, it probably is gonna take a couple applications, but you know, you can already see it starting to lighten up, which is nice. All right, so pretty successful. I'm really pleased with the results. We are back at the back of the building. Julian is going to uh, do his best to get this one looking best. This will be the third application. Uh, you really can't tell by uh, what you're seeing right here, but it, it actually does lighten up significantly. The camera is just not picking it up. So, you know, I'm gonna show it to you in a second, but uh, really appreciate you guys watching the video. Don't forget to check out my Six Figure Marketing Framework and uh, check out the, uh, the entire line of of chemicals from Southeast Softwash. They do an amazing job. And uh, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed.